One of the core services that a lot of the BI applications will use is the secure store service. And this is a service that's really kind of a password vault. So as we enter passwords into the system that different service applications might need to use, like for unintended service accounts within service applications, we, the secure store will really manage those accounts for us. So to create the secure store, I'll just go to manage service applications. And again, we'll be coming back to this page quite a lot. And we don't have a secure store service right now. So I'm going to create one by clicking new and then secure store. Here we give it a, a name. So I'll call it secure store service. I'm only going to have one in this farm. So that name's fine. And my database server is, again, on SharePoint. As I create these, um, like most people, I don't really like having GUIDs at the end of my database names. So I am going to just give this my own name. And I'm going to create a new service application pool called uh, BI Services. And, and, and you'll notice in subsequent steps, I'm going to use this application pool um, kind of over and over for my other BI services as well. Um, there's always a trade-off between having lots of application pools which isolate services, but the more you have, the more memory is going to be used on your servers. So it's a balancing act a little bit. And again, your local policies and local procedures uh, are, are really what you want to depend on for this. And I'll, I'm just going to run that under my BI service. You know, perhaps I might want to run it under a different service account, but to keep things simple, I'll just I'll use the same one for that. And then click OK. So as with other service application creates, when it's finished, we'll get this message that a new service was created successfully. We can click OK. There's one aspect of service applications that trips people up quite a bit, and that is that I've created this application, and it has a proxy, so everything looks OK, but it's not actually running on any servers. So when you do create these services, before you can configure them, you actually need to start them. So I go to the root of central admin, and then click on this link, Manage Services on Server. I can scroll down and find Secure Store Service. And I can see that on SPAP1, that's where I want to run it. But it's not running right now. So I'm going to click the Start button. When I do that, SharePoint will use the Farm Administrator account typically and, and go out and start services on the server. So if you went to the Services Control Panel, you would see a service that wasn't started before is started now. And for services within SharePoint, you do want to use this screen. And then finally, with Secure Store, before we can use it, we have to initialize it with a kind of a master key. And sometimes I find I can initialize Secure Store right away after I create it. Sometimes it seems like I need to reboot the server in order to initialize it. So I'm just going to give it a try. If this isn't, uh, isn't working, which it doesn't seem to be, then I'm going to go ahead and reboot the server. So I'll go ahead and reboot this uh, application server now. And after it comes back up, I'll log in and go into central admin and initialize secure store. And when I return to my secure store service configuration screen, I can see I now do have my generate new key button. So I'll click that button and then I get very similar to when we were installing SharePoint in the first place. We get this prompt to put in a passphrase. This is kind of like a master encryption key. So you put this in, put it in twice. Uh, don't forget what it is, because if you do, you might lose uh, all access to the passwords that will uh, later be stored in Secure Store. So I'll OK that, wait for the key generation to complete, and now everything looks normal. So as I set up additional service applications that need to use Secure Store, this will be all ready to go.